Hey everybody, every once in a while I'd like to focus on something that's not directly logic produced. And uh, this is one of those days. This is Soothe 2 I want to talk about for just a couple minutes because uh, it's an eye-opening tool. It's something that I wish we had in logic. We have something similar with Match EQ, but Match EQ uh, it takes the imprint over a period of time, like an average, and then you can apply the inverse of that or some version of that to the whole track. Well, this is doing something similar, but it's doing it like every moment. It's constantly looking for these resonant frequencies. And um, this is an amazing tool. So I wanted to do a little demonstration of this because I was thinking, Man, there's a few instances where I would use this. I personally don't feel like I need this uh, when I'm, you know, creating a track on my master fader because I feel like many times that uh, the even sound comes from how you build your tracks and how you choose your instruments and the arrangement and all of that stuff. But every once in a while, uh, there's a need for something because of time or efficiency. In this case, the reason I thought that Soothe 2 would be amazing was I pulled open this track and I don't have my Reason license current right this moment. I found myself using it um, just for a few instruments and I'm waiting for Propeller Head to update Reason so that it's native with the M1 architecture, it kept on crashing my system. And I figured, why would I pay 20 bucks a month for something that crashes my system? Anyway, I pull open the song, two of the different tracks are from the Reason kit. And I have to quickly replace them with something else. Well, I chose those original instruments because of how they sound. I mixed everything with those instruments in mind. And then to have to load up a whole different patch means a whole different mix. Or does it? In this case, one of the things about Soothe 2 is that it's going to put things quick, more quickly into their lane, so to speak. So I can put this on an instrument and say, even this out or, you know, scoop out a part of this or work on this part of the sound. And then I can just let it fit into this place. I can put this on the overall mix and it's going to pull out some of the more problematic things that are now duplicated because I've added different instruments in and maybe they both have some low frequency or some low mids or some high mid type issues. And so I, you know, I think that there's a case for this right at this moment that I think is really neat. Um, so I put it on the, the, the master track, the stereo output here, and I put it into the master start mode. Then I made some small adjustments, but um, here it is with out, Soothe turned on, and there's just an equalizer right afterwards, which I'm gonna turn off as well. I'll explain that in a second, but here's the beginning of this track. So, I mean, it's okay. Um, let's turn that back on just the soothe first and we'll start kind of where the vocals come in so you can hear the A, B. Time inside, inside my mind, the quiet is deafening, the silence is messing with me, the world keeps on. So automatically, that's a much smoother, more even sound across the whole spectrum. And it just really, this one plugin is doing that. So you can see all the places it's pulling. It's looking for these problematic resonances. And um, it pulls some of those out. So this would, even without the change in instruments, would be something that you could use in this way. The thing I like is that I can use this to kind of even some of that up. And then I put just a little bit of a boost in the high frequencies with this linear phase equalizer after Soothe. And it's like starting with a, a little bit more flat place and then I can boost around a little bit using another tool afterwards if I want. Sun spinning, my vision keeps on dimming. It's 
seem so easy once. Now I have to overcome. Okay, now while this can't fix my vocals, uh, it certainly is something that I also really like using on a sum track here where I have all of my vocal takes going through here and I put it uh, with one of the vocal submix presets. Now, I have kind of a thicker voice that's, uh, it's actually sometimes hard to understand when I'm singing. I'm okay with that. That's just kind of what my voice is like. Um, but this does clean up some of that diction. It makes it a little bit easier to understand some of the words, especially when I'm doing all of this layering technique that I like to do. And so I think that that's actually a really interesting tool for something like a vocal submix that I hadn't considered before. So a really cool thing you can put in various places. I'm just beginning to explore this. I just downloaded this today and I'm using it for the first time. And I think that there's so much possibility, uh, especially working in a small, not great studio space. Say you have to record super close because of poor acoustics. Um, and you're always on the mic or putting things close to the microphone without being able to put a little distance uh, with a great room. Well, this is a tool which can help with some of that. It can help look at your sound and, and really even it out. Okay, so this was an exciting tool for me. There's one other tool from this company which I'm going to be breaking out and probably doing another video on separately. Um, and that is, let's see, the Spiff. Um, I haven't even opened that one up yet, but it's something on my list. I want to explore that this week and see if there's any uh, real use for this. I've seen some other tools that are similar to this. Uh, the Baby Audio Smooth Operator uh, seems to be a little bit similar but different. It's just this really cool new world of this interactive plugin which does analysis so fast and can implement the changes so fast that it becomes usable in in this modern workflow so i think it's a really exciting time and i'm hoping that apple and logic are going to start incorporating this let's let's buy a bunch of uh software engineers lives and and make them code incredible plugins for logic i mean apple can do that so um let's hope that they're going to at some point anyway um i just Let's not buy anybody's lives. Uh, that's it. I just wanted to demonstrate this. I hope you're having a great week and um, hope you take a look at this plugin.